regime, the banking sector, especially the Ghana Commercial Bank, was plunged into unimaginable corruption. The bank served as an avenue for cronies and a particular group of people to feed fat on taxpayers' money that were used to create the resources in these banks. They fed fat on loans without adequate collateral. These so-called entrepreneurs Fake, fancy entrepreneurs took loans, half of it into businesses, and the other half just lived a good life and never paid back their loans. Through other banking institutions, Barclays and Standard Bank would give you a loan and they would keep an eye on you and assist you to make sure what you intended to use the money for is used to enable you to succeed and pay back your loan, but not Ghana Commercial Bank. You would think that bank was created for a select group of people who take loans and hardly ever pay till the bank would almost become bankrupt and would have to be refinanced, would have to be rebuilt out, would have to be recapitalized. Ladies and gentlemen, Achempon did a few good things. General Achempon decided to investigate those who had been taking loans over the years, having a good time and not paying. What did he decide to do? He was going to investigate the Ghana Commercial Bank, publish and punish, make sure such people pay back their loans or the monies. And they call themselves entrepreneurs. There are good ones and there are pretty bad ones.